What's up, YouTube? It's Andrew Pone again, and I have an awesome little app review for you today, like always. It's going to be called MI Home, which is basically a launcher replacement, which is the actual MI UI launcher. And it is pretty damn fast for this type of launcher, especially with all the functionality that you get with it. This launcher does actually include some transitions if you go ahead and click menu button, launcher settings. It gives you transition effects. Not not too many. I mean, you don't really need all those. Uh, 3D cube. Let's go ahead and try that out. Uh, there you can see it. Not as fast, but you know, this hasn't been out for too long now. But um, it looks nice. I'm gonna go through the rest. I'm gonna go back to classic or class. I don't know why they did that. Wallpaper. This is gonna be from all your themes that you download, which actually do work on the Galaxy Note. But it all depends on um. Basically on your screen resolution. I don't think all of the theme works. I'm not quite sure yet. Just because the screen, res screen resolution on the Galaxy Note is huge. I have high quality graphics turned on. Icon shadow. Wallpaper scroll types. Which is cool. Uh, let's go ahead and click back. Use MI Home Locker. Which is um, the lock screen thing. Hopefully it'll work here. Which is like MI Locker basically. Because it's already included. And there it is. See how it's right there. Yeah, so my friend, all right. Let's go ahead and type that in. Um, and haptic feedback, sound effects, one key locker, all that stuff, great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and back into this. We're gonna go to themes. I'm not gonna apply anything, but I have downloaded a few. If it will load, hopefully. Or not. There we go. Um, that's probably not, that's probably not a bug. That's, that's just me. I'll have to download some of these. Not some of these don't really work. Um, the stock does work. I don't really know which ones of these don't work. Um, I think this one might work. It actually it actually also changes the home screen theme. If, if you see that, um, this is like um, Go am I? Um, not Go, Migo, or uh, I think that's what they called Symbian. I don't even know anymore. Let's see, it says mid outfit your resolution. We'll go ahead and apply it anyways. Does not change your status bar. At least I don't think it does, because I'm running a different ROM, not a standard MIUI ROM. It says applied successfully. Let's see if it loads up here. The background is going to be black. That's part of the theme. And there you go. Your icons and everything are loaded. Um, it does have some customization options. Like for example, if we, I believe, if we hold, yeah, you come up to this menu, and then you can scroll, which is not super fast but you know honestly it doesn't really matter at this point especially if you're on this kind of stuff you can go ahead and click on this and that'll allow you to download a bunch of different clocks like for example if I, I apply this one I don't know if I don't, I don't think all these work either but um yeah there we go I applied that clock see that was different for sorry if you can't see that hopefully you can and you can change all the widgets like you can add new widgets let's see for example is there a free space Go ahead and add a space right there, and we'll go ahead and look at the widgets down here. If it'll focus. Okay, there we go. There's a folder. Let's go ahead and drop that. There you go, your folder. Search, clock. They all have different sizes down here. Photo frame, different sizes. Let's go ahead. These are all, these are all the MI home um, things. You can even get different frames for these. You can put the photo in here. Actually, I don't know if you can put different frames. Yeah, you can. There you go. Yeah, you can put different frames. You can download those. Basically, make the phone exactly how you want it. It's the perfect launcher for the ultimate customization person. And, of course, you can download more widgets, which I believe... I, oh, apparently... Oh, these are the widgets from the system, from all your apps. And, yeah. Let's go ahead and go back. Um, I don't think there's anything else that you can really customize from right there, considering there is no app drawer. Yeah, this is just widgets down here, basically. More widgets is basically all your system uh, widgets. So, like, if I wanted to perhaps have... Let's go ahead and click it. The Apollo music player. That would hopefully appear somewhere. Or not. I don't know if that works or not. Hopefully that does. Um, let's go ahead and try that again. Let's go ahead and delete this. Um, Alright. Alright, apparently it's not going to work for some reason. Um, anyways, um, that's basically it. There's not much else you can do. 
you do have the locker ability, which is awesome. Basically, it's it's just a great launcher. It's fast and everything. Um, of course, I went home there, but um, you know, it's a it's a fast launcher. You know, it works. Um, some people may not like this app drawer, though, as I've seen for some people. They're like, oh, I don't like the app drawer. I want an app drawer. Well, you know what? Deal with it. That's just how some launchers are. That's how some people want to have it. That's how the developers made it. So yeah, just live with it. I um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Go ahead and comment and um, subscribe.